Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast, we're going to specifically look at Google Docs and how to make a collection work as a turn-in folder between the teacher and the student. Here I am logged into a student account. You can see the student has some files already in their Google Doc account in their home area. The student also has a math collection where it looks like the student has been working on some different math files and those are assigned to those collections. So that's just a personal collection for the student. What I want to show you now is how to make a collection and share it to a teacher. Then any files you put in that collection will automatically share it to the teacher. It'll just save steps and make it so that the teacher and student can see all files in that particular collection. To make this collection, you're going to go to Create, Collection. You're going to name this collection. The naming convention we're using is to start with the class hour, followed by the last name. We'll say Smith is this person's last name followed by a space and the name of the class. It's very important you leave the spaces in there. This allows for a uh, teacher or student to easier, more easily find files or folders if there's spaces between these three parts. So my collection's now named. It appears. It's just a regular collection. It's only personal to me, the student, right now. I'm going to share this by going to the option arrow for that collection, clicking on it, and choosing Share. And choosing share again. This brings up the share window for that folder. I'm going to add my teacher as a person that can see this folder. So I'll start typing my teacher's last name. I'll pretend my teacher is Mr. Kafka. So I start typing his name. His name appears. I click on it. I want to make sure that Mr. Kafka has edit rights. So I leave this as edit. And I'm going to uncheck notify people via email. This just makes it so the teachers don't get too many notifications. The folder, the collection will still appear in the teacher's account. So make sure this is all good. I hit share and save. I get a message that says no notification was sent. That is okay. And now it says that the student is the owner of the collection, but the teacher's added on and does have edit rights. I hit done. I notice that the collection has a little picture of, an, of a person on it. This signifies that that collection is shared to someone else or maybe to other people. So now that that folder is all set up, anything I put in there will automatically share to the teacher. So I go back to my home area. Here's my essay that I've been working on. So I'm going to just click and hold on this, and I'm in Chrome, so I can click and hold on the file, drag and drop it right into the collection, and it'll show now that it is added to that collection, or I can click on the collection to see it there, and it will automatically now be shared to my teacher. This is a great system to use for turning files into a teacher for a particular class. So you'll have a few folders set up for each of your class hours where you can drop files in there to share to your teacher. Let's say you accidentally put a file in here and you want to take it out. The easiest way to do that is to utilize the checkboxes for the file. So I'm going to check the file, go up to my Organize button, which is signaled by this little folder icon. When I go into the Organize area, this shows that the file I've chosen is currently checked off in the For Smith Language Arts folder. I can uncheck that and hit Apply Changes, and that simply removes the file. That's the easiest way to make it so that a file uh, is removed, for a folder, rem removed from a folder or placed somewhere else. I go back to my home area. The file's still there. It's just not assigned to that folder. So that is how you can use turn-in folders. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.